Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about descriptive programming. In the previous video, we have completed the description string. In this video, we will learn description object with practical example. As you all are aware, we will choose the descriptive programming when we come across scenarios such as OR should not be used to start the automation before the build release and if OR size is huge. There are two more scenarios where description object or dynamic programming can be used. The first scenario is to handle the dynamic object. Example transaction number. When you do any booking, we'll be getting the transaction number, which is a dynamic value. Here, we can't choose the unique value for the property and value. The second scenario, if application under test is having similar type of objects in several pages. Uh, let me explain with an example. Suppose a web application with several pages has two navigation button on each page. Let's say previous and next button. For a 20 pages flow, if we add OR, we have to add two objects per page, which means totally 2 into 20 pages which is equal to 40 objects. The same scenario if we use the description object or dynamic programming we will code for two descriptions for the object and this code can be used on any pages. The same example I will explain in the Google search page. In the Google search page we can able to see the Google app icon click on that now it will display all the Google apps instead of adding each object we can write or we can go with the descriptive programming so that same piece of code can be used for clicking all the links and also if our requirement is much complicated like we have to navigate to any of this app you have to navigate to Google Play. From Google Play, we have to navigate to some other icon. If these are all the requirements, so adding the same object again and again, it is totally waste of time. And also it consumes more memory to our shared object repository. For this type of scenarios, we'll go with the descriptive object. Let's see how to code for this scenario. In order to implement the description object, step one is create the description object. First declare the variable obj description for browser then set obj browser equal to description dot create the first step is create the description object the second step is add the description under properties obj for the browser we are going to give the title dot value equal to what is a unique value to identify this browser it is title the title is Google I am implementing the regular expression the second step is we have to create the description object for the page because in the hierarchy way first browser is identified then it comes for the page S same way I have added the description object for the page and I have also declared that variable the unique value you know how to find that spy page for the page the title value is google that is what i have implemented the third one is to create the description object for the link set obj description for link equal to description dot create we have created the object for the link we have to add the unique properties and value in order to identify the link 
for that we will randomly spy and check how the link value is developed if you analyze here and uh, the class is link we have to give that in order to identify the link class and uh, the unique value here will be in a text or name it is depends on our wish it's make class dot value equal to link same way I'm also adding the index value 0 now the mandatory value text dot value declare this variable so what we did is we created the description object for the browser description object for the page a description object for the link in that we have added the unique value for browser page and a link now we will execute this scenario how we will execute browser within this you have to give the browser object dot page page object dot link link object dot link it means what we have did is we created the hierarchy in which object needs to be identified using the description object and it should click on my account let's execute this code run the test case is passed from google search page it is navigate to my account the same code I am going to review execute it is navigated to Google Play so we can reuse same code again and again just by passing this particular value dynamically it means it is a reusable code we can create a function using this code and this function can be called wherever you needed and we can pass the link name that is a unique value and execute the script going to create a function I will post on another video which will explain very clearly about how to create a function how to use a function for time being just understand how to reuse this same code using function we have created a function which can be used any number of times to click on Google app link only thing we have to pass the link name I am going to execute same piece of code again and again with different values first it should click on play from the play screen it should click on news from the news screen it should click on YouTube the same code I am going to use again and again so I didn't add uh, three times into the shared object repository just passing the value dynamically execute from the Google it is going to the Google Play then it should go to the news it is news from news it should go to the YouTube the script is passed it navigate to YouTube page now you can understand how important a descriptive programming and a use of a function the same piece of code we can use even for 100 links if it matches this criteria just we have to change the value dynamically in the name of function finally the advantage of a description object or dynamic programming it's a version free we can directly copy paste this code to anywhere and uh, code portability reusability of properties plug and play just maintenance of variable that's the end of today's session in case of any clarification please post your queries thanks for watching have a good day